Hello everyone, welcome to our introduction to machine learning course. In this video, we'll go over perhaps one of the most popular projects in machine learning for beginners, which is the email spam classification problem. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you have all the necessary libraries installed. We'll be using pandas for data manipulation and SkyKit Learn for building our machine learning models. So go ahead and use this command to download and install these packages on your system. Next, you obviously want a data set that we'll be working on today. So go ahead and check the description of this video to download the data set. So let's open the spam.csv file in a text editor and you'll see that it has two columns over there. The first column is called the labels which is either a ham or a spam. That's just a fancy way of saying whether it's a spam or not. And in the second column, you obviously have the email text based on which we'll be classifying our emails. Next, go ahead and open the starter file that I have given you in the zip file. The only thing that I have over here is a bunch of import statements and some comments to make your life easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and read our CSV file and we'll be using pandas library to do that. The type of the object that pandas returns is called a data frame. So we'll be calling our variable data frame as well. We'll say data frame is equal to pd.read underscore CSV and give the file name. So let's see what is inside our data frame now. We can print either the entire data frame or if we want to just print a first few rows, we can say data frame dot head. It looks like we have got our data loaded. We can also say data frame dot describe to get some statistical properties about our data. We see that we have these many rows in our data set. Next, when we are building our machine learning models, we are also interested in finding out how well our model is performing. That is, we want to evaluate our model as well. So instead of using the entire data set for training, we'll split the data into training set and test data set. This is just like not showing a kid all the questions that are going to be asked in an exam. The general rule of thumb is to use 80% of data as our training data set and remaining 20 for our testing. Do the math and you'll see that we need about 4,400 rows for our training data. So let's separate our training and test data set. First, we'll separate our columns and then separate out X train, Y train, and similarly X test and Y test. And there are other ways to split your data. You could use some methods from SkyKit Learn, but let's stick to this for now. The next step is to extract features. Note that in our X train, we have strings and machine learning models that we'll be using are statistical models. That is, they need numbers to work. So how do we represent these strings as numbers? Well, one way we could do this is by representing the count of words which appear in each of these strings. So if I have a string which is called London, Paris, London, I can represent it as London to Paris as one. Easy, right? So this also happens to be a common operation when we are dealing with text data for machine learning. So SkyKit Learn provides us with a class called count vectorizer to represent our strings as count of words that occur in them. Let's check the documentation for count vectorizer. And here is an example. So we see that we can use fit underscore transform on our collection of strings and then it will give us the count of words. Let's go ahead and use it in our program. So now we have our features extracted and we are now ready to build the model. We'll use a support vector machine or an SVM as a classifier. In general, we know that the SVM classifier does relatively well on problems that have too many features. So we have prepared our model and the only thing left is to test on how well did we do. But before we evaluate, we must also convert our X test to features just like we did during the training. It is just like if you do something on one side of the equation, you must also do it on the other side, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Next, let's say model.score to get the accuracy of our model. 
So seems like we are getting a decent accuracy, but can we do any better? Scikit-learn comes with a class called Grid Search CV, which helps us find better parameters of our model. If you have seen our video on the math behind SVM, you will know what are the parameters that we can tune for an SVM model. If you haven't seen this video, please go ahead and check the description. I'll provide a link over there. So let's list out all the parameters that we can tune for our SVM model. Next, we'll create a model this time with grid search instead and give our parameters that we want to optimize. Now there is no rocket science behind grid search. It is essentially a trial and error method. And since it involves a lot of trial and error, our model.fit will take a lot more time to execute. So what we should also do is once we find the best parameters, let's also print them out on our screen so that we don't have to do this every time. In fact, you could also use something like joblib to save your model. And there you see with our new parameters, we are getting an accuracy of more than 98%, which is great. All right, guys, so that's it for today's class. Let me know in the comments if you like it and want to see a lot more of such videos. I'll see you next time with another interesting project. Till then, goodbye.